Hello, I'm Kevin Zettel, a technical marketing engineer here at Infoblocks. And today, I'm here to show you how to set up Google Authenticator and Okta with Infoblox's appliances, starting with NIOS 8.4. First, we must set up Okta. So as the admin, click the admin button and then navigate to the applications and click application and create new application. Here, you want to select the SAML 2.0. In the general settings section, it doesn't matter what name and icon you choose to represent the app. For the configure SAML section, you must provide the URL of the application you are using. In this case, I'm using this Infoblox appliance for demoing. Then, at the end of the URL, type the port 8765 with a forward slash question mark and ACS, and use this as the audience URI as well. It's optional to add attributes and group attributes if you wish. Then, for the feedback, it doesn't matter what you choose. On the applications under sign on, at the bottom, you'll need to add a rule. At the top of the app sign on rule pop up, enter a name. Then, at the bottom, choose allowed under access and click the checkbox for prompt for factor and choose how often. Next, click Identify Provider Metadata and copy the URL and save the URL to use later. You may also copy the contents of the metadata into a file to use it instead of the URL. Then, under Assignments, choose to assign it to the people needing access to the Infoblox appliance. In this case, I'm going to choose everyone because I'm the only user on this Okta account. Under Security Multi-Factor, Make sure that Octa Verify and Google Authenticator are activated. Now we need to set up Infoblox to accept everything. Navigate to Administration, Authentication, Server Groups. And add a new SAML authentication service. Enter any name that isn't being used and insert Octa for the IDP type. Then, for the SSO metadata URL, you can choose the URL that we saved. Instead of using the URL, you can also upload the file of the metadata if you saved it into a file. Finally, for the session timeout, enter how long you want to allow a user logging on with the Okta to have access to the Infoblox appliance. Finally, under Administration, Administrators, click the SAML group and edit. Under the SAML tab, Make sure to select the checkbox for Auto Create User, as this is not checked by default. For more information on how to manage permissions and accounts on Infoblox, make sure to refer to the Infoblox Admin Guide. Now here I'm logging out. And you will see at the center that there is a button to log on with single sign-on. If this is the first time you're setting up Google Authenticator, you will need to click Setup and choose the operating system you're using for Google Authenticator. Then, you'll need to scan the barcode or enter the provided key to sync your device to the account. Once it's synced, you'll be able to enter a code to confirm the device. And this is what you'll use every time to log in. Here, I'm entering the code that Google Authenticator on my phone has provided. A final note that under Grid, Grid Properties, and the Security tab, this is where you can see how long the session timeout is for. Well, thank you for your time. Any feedback is greatly appreciated, and if you have any questions or concerns, you can find me or any of the other experts at Infoblox on our Infoblox community website at community.infoblox.com. Have a great rest of your day.